Hi everyone, here's what's bothering me today. Canada has a new governor general. It is the first indigenous governor general that we have ever had. And that's a good thing. But here's the problem. This, at least I feel that this is the case. This is a way of stymieing the probably eventual reckoning that Canada was going to have to face given current events between the continued unmarked graves being found and investigated, the reticence of the Catholic Church to admit blame, and therefore the burning of churches in various corners of the country. But now, all is well. We have an indigenous governor general. I can't wait for them to provide royal assent to laws that negatively impact indigenous people. I hate to sound like a doomer about it, but come on, this is the liberals we're talking about. It is all about optics with these people. It's about quashing and silencing dissent and then making the whole media narrative look like they're so progressive with just pageantry, performance, and propaganda. I hope our new governor general does a good job, and maybe I'll actually be pleasantly surprised and find she'll say, wait, no, you know what, I've looked into this law. It's not good for these reasons, so nope, I, I can't give it royal assent. And then we have another King Bing crisis for the modern era with Wi-Fi. Maybe, you know, some good can come of this. But I know the liberals, and I know that as we speak right now on Twitter, there's a bunch of people saying, Oh, come on, look, see, this is meaningful action towards reconciliation. There's no doubt people in the future, and also right now, who are going to be using this as an excuse for anything. No, no, see, we're making advances on reconciliation. Look, we got a new indigenous governor general. Or how can you hate Justin Trudeau? He just gave us the first indigenous governor general. And it's like, yes, that's nice, but it doesn't take away from the fact that meaningful reconciliation requires adopting the 94 points, only I think 10 or 11, maybe 12 of which we've adopted so far. The government is also really botching the UNDRIP legislation, so that's a thing that's still happening. The church is refusing to do its part and accept its blame in all of this. And yet already I can see it now and I can hear it now through the hum of the internet. This is so wonderful. This is fantastic. Look, you know, we're serious about reconciliation. This is so great of Justin Trudeau and it's going to be so great and wonderful and I hope that the new governor general surprises me at the same time I have a really sick feeling in my stomach that she is going to grant royal assent to laws that negatively impact her fellow indigenous people and the fact that this isn't part of the conversation and we're just taking it as the one you know lovely little tidbit of good news we have today which you know I get it, right? That's that's nice, and I don't want to take away from that. But I want people to see the full picture. And the full picture is, unfortunately, that this is just another part of liberal performance and a way to distract away from the ongoing struggles and the reckoning about the conflict we have with our indigenous people. It is a distraction and it's meant to tamp down on everyone's righteous and understandable anger. And the fact that an indigenous woman is being used to prop that up and that she is unfortunately probably going to either have to sign laws that negatively impact her own people or be forced into conflict with the government whereupon everyone's going to quickly turn on her. All of that, which is unfortunately very likely in the future, that is what's bothering me today.